Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Paul Savet in Bangkok. Uh, I'm the managing director of uh, BB eBooks. Um, today, we're going to take a look at um, how to upload your uh, print on demand PDFs to CreateSpace. Um, it's a pre pretty straightforward process. Um, what you want to do first is make sure you have uh, your two files. One is going to be your interior and one is going to be uh, your cover and back cover and spine, also called the cover app. Uh, let's take a look at our interior real quick. Okay. So uh, what we want to look for in here, uh, you'll notice first you can go to File, Properties, and you can see uh, this is page size. You want to verify the page size, that's important. So for me it's 5 by 8 inches. Um, you can also look at the number of pages. Now this book is, uh, it's only like a 30,000 word novella, so it's only 140 pages. Now when you scroll through here, um, you'll notice that on the right-handed pages and the left-handed pages, there's a, there's a bigger margin here on over, than over here on the even pages. Um, that's because uh, when you think about it, uh, the, the right hand page and the left hand page it'll be going uh, this margin right here and right here will be going into what's called the gutter of the book so uh, the gutter margin is usually a little bigger uh, for print books than the outside margins now uh, another thing you want to have a look at um, you notice there's a blank page here why, why is there a blank page here um, the reason uh, occasionally BB books uh, depending on how you would like to do it we would add uh, we would force every chapter to start on a uh, right-handed page. We believe this is the uh, most professional option for, for fiction, uh, but we can do it anywhere you want. In this case, there is no blank page since the end of chapter one ends on an even or left-handed page, and this one starts on the right-handed page. Uh, you also want to double-check, uh, make sure you're uh, running heads, like you're running heads. It's standard. Uh, in fiction for uh, even pages to have a running head of the author's name and then on uh, odd pages to have the title of the book. On nonfiction it's uh, a little bit different but uh, this is usually how you see it on fiction and then you have the, the page numbers down here in the corner. Okay so we're taking a look at our interior. Um, another thing you want to check you want to make sure the font is embedded um, if you're one of our clients then we always make sure the font is properly embedded but uh, if you're trying to do this yourself what you can do is go to properties and then fonts in this case uh, this book in books interior is all in bookman so uh, you can see there's uh, the embedded subset that's that's good that's what you want to see if you don't have the font embedded uh, that can create com problems at create space and they might send you like a, a nasty email Okay, so um, our interior looks good here. Now let's take a look at our cover. Now the cover is just one big PDF. It looks like this. Okay, and uh, on the left you have you have uh, this is the back cover, and on here is the spine, and then this is the front cover of the book. So kind of think about it when uh, th this gets printed, it'll wrap around the uh, interior of the book. Now. Um, this isn't the most well-designed cover. We don't do covers at BBE Books. We don't have the artistic capability in-house, but this is just sort of a functional cover wrap for you. Um, now, keep in mind for CreateSpace, uh, they have to put an ISBN on the back cover, and they always put it in the bottom right of the back cover, uh, like right about here. And you'll see it when you get it back from them. Uh, when you get the, when you order your review copy, you'll see the they put the ISBN there on there for you. So you want to make sure this part of the cover is kind of left blank. Um, also, uh, you want to double check so we can see the size of our cover wrap by going to properties. And then we go to description. You'll see it's um, 8.25 inches in height. Now it's a five by eight book, and the reason is. Um, on the top and bottom, you need uh, 0.125 inches of what's called the uh, kind of the bleed space. Um, and the reason is there's a certain margin of error when they cut the cover. Uh, when they cut the cover wrap uh, for any print on demand outlet, you want to have a little bit of uh, margin so they don't cut it short. Um, the 10.57. So uh, that takes into account the, uh, the back cover. There's a bleed here of 0.125 inches and 0.125 inches on this side. 
and that's to take once again take into account the tolerance for the cutting error and then uh, there's the spine now the spine uh, it can get tricky and your cover designer should do this for you, you can get tricky to uh, determine uh, the specifications on your spine it's a function of uh, basically uh, the number of pages in the book and the type of uh, paper you want to use. Um, consult create space for the guidelines, but like white and cream and color paper, all ha uh, you have to use a different calculation. But in this case, the spine for this book, it's 141 pages, about 0.3 inches. And your cover designer or BBE books, we can help you with that as well. Okay, now we want to log into uh, create space and uh, I've already done so and you can see here we're at our uh, member dashboard um, to add a title to create space you just click here add new title and then it'll uh, it'll ask you what kind of uh, project you want to start you're starting a, a paperback and then tell us the name of you that's just the title of your book so I'm called the sentinel in sector 5 okay and then uh, we recommend doing the uh, the guided process uh, so just click get started okay now uh, first thing they're gonna ask you is uh, some basic metadata about the book um, don't forget to put the the author of the book uh, yourself yourself published or uh, another author and then um, uh, if you uh, if you if this is the author here you do not need to add the ad contributors here but uh, you can add stuff if you wanted to um, add other contributors similar to how KDP works um, then you put your language and then uh, publication date that can just be uh, today today is April 24th 2013 okay just click save and continue here and uh, it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty simple process uh, it takes you step by step now we need to do the ISBN now there's a couple options here uh, you can provide your own ISBN but you have to buy one from uh, Bocker if you're an American uh, if you're Canadian and uh, a few other countries you can get them for free but US citizens have to pay like it's like $150 for one ISBN uh, I would just recommend not uh, using it alternatively you can use the custom ISBN and that lists you as the publisher as opposed to create space but we're just gonna go uh, for the free create space uh, ISBN here because we're kinda cheap so I'm gonna sign that free ISBN um, and that'll give you a 13 digit ISBN that is linked to uh, your your book okay so this is done you just click continue uh, next up we're going to add uh, the, the interior of the book this is probably the most important step here um, now okay trim size that is the size of your book so for us we're gonna choose um, ours is a 5 by 8 so we're gonna choose 5 by 8 okay now over here interior type uh, black and white or full color 99% uh, of the time we recommend the clients to use black and white interiors uh, why do we do that the full color interior is exponentially exponentially more expensive for create space to print so that's why we usually recommend uh, black and white unless for some reason you need color images in your paperback uh, we really strongly recommend black and white now paper color you can choose white or cream we I generally recommend white creams a bit retro but if you want cream that's that's okay too uh, next thing you're gonna do now that you've got these settings all you're gonna upload your book file okay so I'm gonna look for I'm just gonna upload that PDF interior not the cover my interior okay now one important thing bleed um, almost always it ends before the edge of the page for most unless you're doing like a complex interior where there's uh, kind of like sometimes what you see with like travel guides where the picture goes right to the edge of the page um, you always almost want to do ends before the edge of the page just make sure you click there make sure this is checked run the automatic print checks and then I'm going to go down here and click save and uh, depending on the size of your interior it's going to take a little bit to upload it'll take a couple minutes for them to run the their interior check okay so after a couple minutes you should get a message as well as an email that says uh, our automatic print check didn't find any issues that's good um, if it did find issues you have to go back and uh, make a new PDF 
Um, if you're one of our clients and it finds an issue, that, that we've really failed you. But we'll, we'll always make sure to give our clients one that uh, will pass the Create Space Interior Check. It has to pass this interior check um, to uh, be published. So um, I'm going to click Launch Interior Reviewer, and this will load up this, uh, this application um, in your web browser that allows you to kind of preview uh, what your interior will look like. So let's have a look. Okay, click Get Started. All right. So uh, this little uh, gray box around here, this is like the uh, kind of the safe area. If there's content or anything outside this gray box, that's bad and uh, it means it might get cut off uh, when it, the book gets, uh, the print book gets created. So, but uh, you can go through here and just see. Okay. So it takes a while since it's running in your browser, but um, it's kind of a neat app if you want to see how your book looks. Now, once you do that, you want to click Save and Continue. Now, the next step, now that our interior's loaded, uh, we're going to need to uh, go ahead and add uh, our cover. Okay, moving on to the uh, the cover, you just click here on the left part. Okay, now um, the cover that gives you a few options, but what you want to do is upload a print-ready PDF cover. This is by far the most uh, professional option. So you click down here, and then you just uh, go, and you're just going to upload your PDF file as one big PDF. And then you're just going to click Save and Continue. Now the um, there's no uh, there's no uh, there isn't like a low limit on uh, the file size the PDF so it's okay if it's like a really big file in our our case ours is about four megs so it's going to take just a little bit to upload so now that our uh, interior and cover is uploaded um, what we can do is um, we can actually start filling out the metadata that's going to appear on Amazon. So you click down to distribute and you click on channels. Now for, for the channels, obviously you probably want to go to as many channels as absolutely possible. And it does this by default. So it's all automatically selected Amazon, Amazon Europe, and the Creates Boy Store. Uh, you can add expanded distribution. I've heard uh, issues where um, when you set it to expanded distribution, you, your royalties become less. I don't know if that's true or not. If it, uh, if it is or it isn't, please let us know. Uh, but for right now, I'm just using the standard distribution, which is free, and I'm just gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna click Save and Continue, okay? Now next up is gonna be pricing. Now CreateSpace uh, has this really neat widget that lets you uh, determine uh, how, how much royalties you're gonna get now now this is gonna be um, totally dependent on the number of pages in your book as well as the trim size and what kind of interior you have uh, obviously color interiors uh, the production cost of the print run is much more expensive so in this case I'm gonna try like 9.99 and I'm just gonna try calculate and it's pretty neat you get to see uh, you know how much uh, royalty I'm gonna get if it sells at Amazon okay I get three dollars at 44 cents that's, that's pretty good uh, for the create space e-store you know not many people buy the book there but uh, the Amazon's the important one uh, as you can see you get a little less the expanded distribution at that, that that one it's kind of rant depends on uh, where you're distributing to but the important ones Amazon so you can adjust this if you want let's say maybe 12.99 see how that looks okay and now like I said the, the, I'm not sure about the formula for this but uh, it's it's sort of a function of how the trim size of your book as well as how many pages it is I'm gonna say like 999 I think that's a fair price for a novella uh, so we'll see how we do there and you can always change the price later it's just like uh, when you publish your ebooks you can always uh, experiment with the price a bit okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna save and continue okay now the next part is kind of like the metadata part where you add uh, the, the product description, uh, the BICEAC code, things like that. So for the description, I've already, uh, this, this is important, it's something you definitely want to think about. Uh, I've already written a description here, I'm just going to pull this out real quick. Alright, okay. So there's my description. Alright, my BICEAC category, uh, this is kind of like the genre. Uh, mine is... Uh, science fiction so I'm gonna go under uh, fiction 
uh, science fiction and we'll call it high tech that sounds good alright now give it some thought this is important now on KDP you get to choose two categories here you just get to choose one alright author bio, bio that never hurts right so uh, what I'm gonna do I've already uh, written an author bio I'm just gonna copy that here that's no problem alright there we go alright country of publication uh, I'm gonna choose United States uh, which I'm sorry is at the top okay a search keyword now it's important uh, you get five on CreateSpace you get seven on Kindle Direct Publishing but only five here so I'm gonna keep these simple science fiction thriller uh, young adult um, technology and suspense so you only get five so make it count all right okay now that you've entered all this in you can go ahead and save and continue and you're done with your metadata now the last thing they ask you if you want to publish on Kindle alright so if if you're one of our clients you know that making an ebook from a PDF is uh, through an automatic generated generation process is a bad idea uh, if you're one of our clients do not choose this option do not select publish on Kindle because what it does is it takes your uh, your PDF and tries to automatically convert it into the ebook format it looks terrible and uh, just just don't do it just uh, come talk to us um, if you if you gave you a PDF POD interior we probably also gave you an ebook do not select this option okay so just leave this blank now finally what we're gonna do we're gonna go to review oh I'm sorry I uh, go to setup and then we go to complete setup now what's going to happen here is you you say yes I've submitted everything uh, please have a look and CreateSpace uh, their team is going to look at your book your look at your cover look at your interior and they're going to get back to you in about 24 hours and once they do that you have two options you can either order a review copy to um, actually physically look at a book or you can just review a digital proof and once you say, uh, you know, hey, this looks good, you'll be published. And uh, your book will be published immediately on the CreateSpace store, and it'll take about five days for the paperback to get to Amazon. And after that, you're done, so good luck. So don't forget to click Submit Files for Review, and then come back here in 24 hours after you get an email from them, and, uh, either, uh, uh, and then you can approve your uh, final book. Okay, so I'm going to submit my files for review, and uh, you'll hear back from them in about 24 hours. And then uh, after that, you'll be published.